Good morning, I'm Reverend Andy Dovey. I'm the lead for Croydon Health Services. And today on this Sunday, following Easter Sunday, we're offering you midday prayers. Once again, we're offering this in our chapel garden, in amongst our workers, with everybody busily trying to save those who are critically ill and helping those to go home that have recovered. So please join us. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make help to save us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ, today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I died with Christ, today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with him, today I am walking with him from the sleep of death. Our psalm today is Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turn back, you mountains that you skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of God of Jacob, who turned the rock into the pool, the hard rock into springs of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And our reading today from Peter's first letter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this Sunday, for the day of rest that you gave us. Give us the capacity to reach out to you, to ask for renewal and regeneration in our life so that we may serve others in our true faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for this world that is in strife. We ask that your healing hands are provided to it to guide us, restore us, give us wisdom and direct us in our actions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the faiths of the world that during this pandemic, they will be able to unite together to bring your glory into people's lives and the knowledge of your love for them. We pray for the churches throughout the world closed at this time and that clergymen will work with all of those around them to reach out to your disciples in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we pray for all those that are ill at this time. Give our staff the encouragement and the strength to provide the medical care to them, but at the same time to keep themselves safe and regenerated. We ask that all the emergency services are cared for through your grace to continue the critical services that they provide. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Heavenly Father, we pray for all those that have passed this life. We ask that through the promises of Christ, that they are raised to your heavenly kingdom. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to you, all ages, to you be glory and power through every age forever. And we say together in our own mother tongues the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. And I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.